Spring break officially starts this weekend for thousands of North Texans, but tonight a new danger at one of the most popular getaway destinations. Mexico has always faced violence from drug cartels, but they've never targeted tourist towns until now. Here's Jason Whiteley. Morning, Tower on 3395, we're on a visual 369. Tourism and terrorism are two words that rarely share the same sentence. Would you go to Mexico right now? Absolutely not. What happened in Playa del Carmen last month is the reason why. That's the tourist ferry to Cozumel. A bomb exploded, hurting two dozen people, including five Americans. Then last week, another bomb discovered on another ferry parked offshore. When you compare the Al-Qaeda's, okay, um, with the type of tourism that's happening right now in Mexico, there's really not that much difference because the innocents are being killed. Drug cartels are now turning to terrorism and don't care if tourists are in the way. There was the raw intelligence. Phil Jordan is a former DEA supervisor who now runs his own intelligence firm and told us that the bombs were planted on the ferries because their owners supported the wrong presidential candidate in Mexico. I mean, here's the deal, the message being, go with our candidate or we will continue bombing your business. It's mafia style. The U.S. Embassy in Mexico warned its own employees to avoid ferries, but American tourists did not get the same alert. Last month, Royal Caribbean and Carnival canceled shore excursions that used ferries, but both cruise lines carefully avoided the reason why. Playa del Carmen, Cancun, and Cozumel there are some of Mexico's biggest destinations and bring in up to a third of that country's total tourism. It's getting worse by the day, okay? When you have this year, the deadliest year that I can remember, but no publicity has come out of that, something is wrong with the picture. In the last decade, murders in Mexico have more than tripled. 8,800 in 2007. Last year, more than 29,000. That's about twice as many than the U.S. sees. A travel agent in South Lake says she isn't getting any calls of concern or to cancel trips to Mexico anytime soon. But there's an insurance agent in Dallas who says she is seeing something else, an increase in the number of people who are interested in buying coverage for kidnapping and ransom. Ashley Trent says it's no longer just companies purchasing these specialty policies. I'm seeing more interest in people actually purchasing them for their own families because they're fearful of what's going to happen if their kids are not being watched every single second while they're on that trip. Mexican beaches remain appealing getaways here, but they have quietly become dangerous destinations. Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. Social media becomes